boots on. Oh, what a morning, what a morning. What a night, what a night. Oh. Whew. I'm tired, boss. This is like the fourth or fifth drop of hogs I've caught this week. Oh. Today's Friday. No, today's Saturday. Ah, these bugs. Oh. Y'all seen the bugs? These things they tear me up, man. Oh. I'm tired. Let's go in here. And uh, see if we can't get all these hogs. I, I'm just tired. I'm sorry. Just give me a minute to wake up. I'm just tired. Uh, God. Had football last night. And uh, anyway, we, uh, we had football last night. So oh, I'm just a little tired. Put some flies on that thing. Deer flies, can y'all see them? Y'all see them deer flies? They just waiting on to get out of here. They just waiting on me to get out. Right. What scares me is <clears throat> sliding in this mud and being able to get out or not get out. It's just so slick right here that you don't want to slide into a tree. Oh, and you don't want to get over there either. Oh. And like I said, usually I can hit this hole hard, but I can't hit it hard because I'll slide into something. Anyway. Like I said, it's slick. I can't roll the window down because, well, flies are coming up in here. The biting flies. All right. Whew. So sunrise into the duck hole there. Look at them flies on the hood, dude. They're going to kill me. They're going to suck all my blood. They're going to bite me up. Oh, I'm going to be welted up like that. <laughs> oh, like my daddy done got a hold of me. Them, them deer flies going to tear me up. Hold on, these bugs are tearing me up. I'm just trying to be your best I can. These bugs and stuff been tearing me up. I put this net on. They still hurt, but not as bad. Anyway, let's get this dude knocked down. Check this out. Oh, this gun keeps doing this right here. I don't know what the deal is, but anyway, I had trouble with it the other day when I was putting some pegs down. And uh, so it just, it's not throwing it or whatever, not throwing it in there, so. Look like I might have to go back to the OG, the OG, the original. <laughs> uh, 
Anyway, we got him Let it down right there. On safety plus it's jammed, so. Oh, we got him knocked down. Uh-oh. And, uh, we're good, uh, got a pretty home. Anyway, let's get all this up and see if we can figure out how to, what to do with him. Well, the fly's been a little bit better on me. Oh, calm down a little bit. It's hot. But anywho, oh, uh, y'all seen where I've raised the cage. Y'all seen all that before. Y'all have to see it every time. But anyway, while I'm getting the cage up and getting the hog out, oh, uh, I told you that we played football last night. I just want to, want you to see Harlow plays wide receiver. Uh, so I just want y'all to see a few catches he had and he had a touchdown. So anyway, while y'all watching my kid play football a little bit, like I said, it's only three or four catches, and then uh. I'll be getting this cage up and be right back with you. So uh, y'all root Harlow on as we uh, oh, get ready for this football season. Come on, Harlow. Come on, Harlow. Come on, Harlow. Good job, Harlow. Way to go, Noah. Way to go, Harlow. Good catch. <laughs> Got him. There you go, Harlow. Good job, Harlow. got my head in it i was going to get some water to wash it off but wash it, ah! but i see why deer be running to the open fields because if you get up more in the open they leave you alone opposed to up in the woods right there so i guess if you ever see a deer running in the wide open in daylight just trying to get away from rid of them things Ah, uh, no water. I can't get, even get it out in the creek. Uh, uh. Left my door open. Now they're all in here. Uh, what's up, Spidey? Uh. Anyways. Whew. How y'all like Harlow playing football? Uh, he gonna be all right, ain't he? Whew. So y'all probably seen already I don't have my trailer. Which means I'm backed up right now, back up to the hog. Let's see if I can show you. I've backed up to the hog there, and uh, I got that pocket drag on him. And uh, I'm gonna drag him back up over this levee, and then get him to where I can back maybe back the truck up and put him on the back of the tailgate so I can get out of here. Oh. But you know, it may not how it goes. <laughs> Uh, I'm just trying to cool off a little bit. Whew. Uh, and if you looked at my dressing attire this morning, I probably don't match. But uh, only person that probably only probably person that probably cares is my wife. Because <laughs> I don't care. We big trapping, baby. We big trapping. Woo! All right, well, let's get it. Yeah. See, so we put the little pocket drag on it right there cinches up like that so what we're gonna do <clears throat> yeah i can't do it right there hold on just a minute. i mean i can't do it hold this uh, and show you real well all i'm gonna do is take him and i'm gonna drag him put that on there right there and i'm just gonna drag him up over the lid <sighs> like i said good little boar hog good little boar hog Yeah, I'm on levee there. Oh man, these bugs are everywhere up in here now. Left the door open. So used to leaving the door open. Yeah. So then, now what I'll do is uh, I'll hook that in a snout and see if we can't. I'm gonna put this and see if we can't get this uh, backed up right somehow or another.
Nothing too, right? Oh. Oh, nothing too. I'm hot. Take the safety pins out. Phew. I got hand sanitizer. <laughs> I don't know why I took my gloves off knowing I had to do this. Well, safety pins are out, winch cables are off. So, basically, I rebaited this. It smells like hog here. It's a lot of stink that reaping of that hog and whatnot. So, uh, everything looks on right there. Oh, that mud off again. Get that mud on it. Yeah. Oh, uh, I leave in the morning headed to Florida, do a gator hunt. So, uh, if I catch one tonight, I'll come on before I go to Florida and just knock it in the head. And, Feed it to the buzzards, but it smells like hog. That's more attractive than that corn in that trap. So, anyway, and if not, I got all week while I'm gone to see if I got hogs or not. But anyway, whoo, guys, thank y'all for being here. And uh, I gotta get back home with my wife. Day Saturday, so I wanna spend the last day with my wife and my youngest child. And uh, my oldest child's got to umpire a fundraiser uh, for the school. Uh, one of the players' moms had a head-on collision, and uh, I don't know when she'll be able to walk again. So it broke both hips and internal bleeding and all kind of stuff. So they're doing a fundraiser for her, so Harlow's going to be umpiring that game. And uh, he said, I ain't never umpired before. I said, well, you've always argued with the umpire. <laughs> Just do what you think they're supposed to be doing. <sighs> anyway, big boar hog. I say big boar hog. They probably 125 pounds, something like that. I would weigh him, but I ain't driving all the way to the club. I mean, I got a weigher thing right there, but I ain't driving all the way to the club. It's, it's an hour from here to hang him up. Anyway, let's go see what the rest of the day has in store. And I bet if my wife and child ain't up, then uh, I wish I they should be up. My wife is up fairly early, but if they ain't up, I'm going to wake them up cutting that grass right up against the trailer. <laughs> Let's go see what the rest of the day holds. <sighs> wait, wait, wait. It ain't the rest of the day. Let me show you. Let me close this so I'm going to bust. I'm going to show you this. Show you this right here. Look right here. Somebody saw where I was about to get overheated and I didn't have a cooler that would fit in the back of my truck because you know I've always got stuff just in the back of my truck. So, uh, because I have big coolers. They sent me a cooler and, uh, which I ain't got no ice in it yet. I had me a little ice pack I put in there. But I appreciate it to the fan, friend, that uh, supplied me with a little old cooler that I can uh, put in my truck, keep me a couple drinks, and don't take up a whole lot of room. So, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh. At least I won't dehydrate. <laughs> I might burn up, but I ain't gonna dehydrate. Mud on the rim. Oh, Damn car wash. <laughs> Ooh. It ain't bad. Just a little dirty. Anyway. <sighs> Barn's crossing a new Albany, Mississippi. I'm gonna clean her up. I'm gonna clean her up. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna get this sprayed down because I'll probably take my wife over to start for tonight and uh run through the car wash if I go on the road tomorrow but anyway but I really want to get on that traceway right there really want to get in that traceway so oh and I want to say that Mr. Steve and Joanna from Kentucky they drove all the way from Kentucky like seven and a half eight hours on that part of Kentucky drove all the way down here come over to the traceway the owner called me and said hey got some uh people that were here want to meet you and I was on a bucket list uh He's just a man, a uh, disabled fella, used to be a truck driver, and uh, got where he couldn't push the clutch no more. So I was off doing a hog job about 40 miles from here. So I drove back over here, ate breakfast with him at the Traceway, and then uh, they were headed on down to Louisiana, going to do a little uh, uh, check out the duck commanders and try to try to meet some of those guys. So 
hey, I appreciate it, Stephen, uh, Joanna, for y'all right here and, and uh, come and check things out. So let's get this thing cleaned up. When I say cleaned up, I mean just get the mud knocked off of it before I run into the big time car wash. <laughs> It ain't just great, but I have a whole lot of more cores, so we'll see. Good morning. We is headed to South Florida. I got the grass cut yesterday. I meant to, I post a little reel for my Facebook, but I meant to uh, show y'all, uh, I cut my grass yesterday and I had my trailer sitting in my yard and I moved the trailer out of the way. And as soon as I moved the trailer out of it, the, the lawnmower ran out of gas. So I got like a, six by ten spots six by twelve spots <laughs> anyway uh we're just gonna take a little road trip to south florida and we'll end it there and then pick up the next video there where we're at right now so stick with me and see what's on the road it might not be much but might be a little action you never never know lord be with us we on the road uh, got me a little taco bell Man, I, was about to, ooh, I was about to pass out i need something to eat but i got a question for you guys how come all the new restaurant businesses that re-upgrade to the new new age stuff, how come there's an echo in the building when people talk, people move chairs? It's just extra loud. It's kind of like when you buy a new trailer home and it's, it's got an echo in there until you put your furniture in it. But these places have furniture in there, so what, why do we have an echo? And the reason I bring that up, hold on just a minute. Got to get my knife out of my back pocket. Oh, you never know how you might cut around him. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. I knew Bluetooth was going to kick in when I cut the AC on, cut the truck on AC on. But the reason I bring that up is because while I'm sitting in Taco Bell, a lady and a man, you know, they're hot. They look like they've been working their tails off, sweating, you know, oh, real American workers. Well, the lady gets on the phone, her phone rings, and She's got it on speakerphone the whole time and has a loud conversation the whole time. Not that it's really a problem, but the echo in the room, it just echoed. <sighs> I mean, I'll be honest with you, unless you're talking to Lanny Wilson or uh, Morgan Wallen on the other line, I don't really care about your conversation, but <sighs> some people just don't care. Some people just don't care. And it didn't just bother me a whole lot. It's just the echo in the Taco Bell. So my question is, there used to not be no Taco Bell echoes and Wendy's echoes and McDonald's echoes and now it's a bunch of echoes. <sighs> Maybe I was just hangry and it frustrated me a little bit, but I don't have anybody but my wife that I could trust on speakerphone. <laughs> so, anyway, we're still about eight hours from destination and uh, I ain't gonna make it all the way tonight. I'm gonna get a hotel somewhere, but anyway, it's part of the trip. Just rambling. But if you know the answer, why is there an echo? Let me know. Got me a little cup of ice and some Milo tea. Let's get back on the road. Get back on the road. Hey, it's hot. I think it's 96 right here. It's a little hot, but we still run. All right, guys, look here. We have made it out. We've come down here to the Waffle House tonight. Got us something to eat. I'm staying over there at the Hampton, if you can see that or not. I don't know if you can see that over there. But anyway, I don't even know what town I'm in. I just know it's loud. Man. I'm tired. So we're going to go to the hotel right now. And, uh, what did I say I was? Davenport? I mean, I don't even know. I'm walking back to the hotel. And, uh, anyway, I told we We'll see y'all in the morning. Hey, what's up, guys? Ah, it's another morning. I'm going to hit the road. And... We'll get with you when I get back out and tell you how the morning went, how the night went, but I gotta get in this traffic and get gone. But anyway, 
We'll talk in a minute, but I got a lot of traffic. Well, finally made it. Go ahead and check things out. Let y'all check things out. I haven't been in here one time. A little warm. Oh, actually, it's cool. It's 95 outside. It's cool as him. See that knocked down. 78. Ooh. <laughs> Get it knocked down a little bit. We got a nice little place. Nice little place. Oh, what y'all think? Nice little house place. I like it. They're gonna be my room right here. He got his own bathroom. Got his own shower. Got one of them booty washers. Shoot, you better watch that thing. You turn that. <laughs> my buddy said you turn that thing up wide open. It hit you so hard, make your nose run. <laughs> Whoa, let's go check out the back. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Shoot, you put a little milk jug in that thing right there. Pull that hammer. Shoot, like straight out of the cow, baby. Milk her down, milk her down. Anyway, we're down here in Florida. Gonna do a little gator hunt. What are we gonna call it, a little gator hunt? I got some, uh, I don't know if they're uh, fans or just friends that they've seen the y'all, y'all, but anyway, they're coming. They purchased some gator tags to be on the boat with me. So we're gonna let them probably hunt first and I'm just down here just to entertain a little bit, but. I wonder if they let us on that jet ski, dude. Catch my gator, I got that canoe. Oh, we got a little fire pit. We come out here and, well, it's too hot to have a fire. We'll come out here with a cooler ice and watch it. <laughs> we'll, watch, we'll watch a cooler ice melt. Oh, anyway, it's nice. Okay. Like a gator right up under here. Anyways, we found a place and I'm out of that last place I was. Housekeeping showed up at like 7 30, 8 30. I don't know what time it was. I still sleep. You know, I'm in a different time zone as my other one, so it wasn't time for me to wake up. <laughs> so, oh, they kept knocking. They kept knocking and they kept knocking. I was like, they knocked truly at the neighbor's door. Nope. By the time I heard it beep, they tried to open the door, but I had to lock on them. I had to lock on them. I couldn't get in. Talking about some housekeeping. Housekeeping. It's too early for the housekeeping. They must have been used to them. Uh, some construction workers down there but uh anyway i got out of there so we are in lake placid florida now i'm gonna go down here to the diner and uh gotta go to walgreens get some heartburn mess other than that hey y'all get ready for some gator action hopefully anyway i'm down here with my man adam pitts florida man adventures see if he can put his on us got, got us in a nice little place today now we just need some Big gate of meat, big gate of tail, and big gate of heads. Thank y'all for watching. Keep tuning in. I appreciate y'all, so y'all know how it goes. Y'all have a good one. God bless. And as always, Jesus loves you. Arr!